Okay, in this question we're asked to find a length in a right angle triangle and we're given a length and an angle. So that means it's going to be a trigonometry question. A Pythagoras would be all three lengths with one of them being unknown. As soon as there's an angle you need to be thinking, hmm, is this trigonometry? And this one is. So step one in trigonometry is you go to the right angle, go opposite it, and that is your hypotenuse. You should be used to that from Pythagoras. The second one to label is opposite the marked angle, the one given to you in the question, and that's labelled as the opposite. And the last one is the adjacent, which is between the marked angle and the right angle, or just the one left over. The next step is to cross off the one that's not interesting, that doesn't have a number or a letter next to it. Well, H has the X next to it, the O has the 8.2, so no more adjacent. Okay, the next step is to write down Sokotoa, Sokotoa, and it's really important that you remember um, Sokotoa because you'll need it to be able to answer this question. It's not given to you. And this is a selection of three triangles that show you which as which um, trigonometric ratio to use, sine, cos, or tan, and how to work it out. Now, this one, um, we've crossed out the adjacent. Well, Toa needs the adjacent, and Ka needs the adjacent. So the only one that only needs the O and the H is the first one. Next, I'm going to draw a slightly bigger triangle. And you can do this using um, the formula, so O over H, and just substituting it in. I'm going to show a slightly different method, um, which is, is probably better for foundation level students um, and lower higher students. So first of all, we're going to write S is for sine, and you always sign the angle. So we're going to sign the 42. And the calculator opens a bracket when we click sign, so we've got to remember to close the bracket. Now, what we've got next, we've got an O at the top, so the opposite is at the top, so we've got 8.2 at the top. And at the bottom right, we have the hypotenuse, which is X. Now, the way of using triangles, it's the same as a speed distance time triangle, or pressure, or, uh, any, or density, or any other triangle you use. If the number is at the top and the bottom left, then to work out the one at the bottom right, you divide them. So we're going to have x equals 8.2 over sine bracket 42. Now, piece of advice here. When you're typing that into the calculator, first thing you do is press the fraction button and type in 8.2. Click the cursor button down. Click sign and then 42. Now, really important that you close the bracket. Most calculators now open a bracket for you to be helpful, but you've got to make sure you close the bracket. Then press equals and you get 12.2547 blah blah blah. It wants it to two decimal places, so I'm going to write 12.25. Check it makes sense. Well, uh, the hypotenuse is always longer than uh, each of the other sides, so it's bigger than 8.2, so it makes sense. 